I'm going to whip you. And if you whip, if I whip you, will you crawl across the lane and kiss my feet? Kiss your feet. Yes. Don't get out of it, will yes. you? Yeah. If you pass, if you last through the third round, I'm gonna kiss your feet. And if I knock you out in the fourth, I'm still gonna okay. kiss your feet. Okay. Okay. No. Well, look, look. What you gonna do? That's a better bargain than you do. What you, you gonna do? Kiss my feet at the beginning of the fourth round, or wait till the fight's over? Huh? <laughs> Now I better kiss it before the first round because I ain't going to be around that long. Oh man, you jive and I told you, why don't you put yourself on a limb like me? He's the guy that's going to win the fight. Cassius, awkwardly fast. Good long left lead that might keep the champion a bit off balance. Very slippery. Defeat. I was trying to so I think that the corner now is getting to worry a little bit now. He's he saying him going winning now. They might be stopping it. That might be all, ladies and gentlemen. Get up there, Joe. Get up there. Get up in the ring. the old story, you kill the body and the head might follow. Ali moves on to fight two-time former champion Floyd Patterson. Patterson is a very popular fighter, and Clay, as most of America still calls the champ, is not. The name change and the adoption of Islam brand Ali as an angry, ungrateful radical. But you offered to fight for nothing. Uh, why? Well, because I felt that uh, my only interest in fighting him uh, it's not for the money, it's merely to take the championship away and uh, to put it back to where it belongs. All America, not just the black Muslim. First to out of the ring is challenger Floyd Patterson, the only man ever to have won the heavyweight title two times. Before the fight, Ali rhymed, I'm going to put him flat on his back so that he will start acting black. Because when he was champ, he didn't do as he should. He tried to force himself into an all-white neighborhood. Uh, I would say he, so he punished Patterson and Terrell. The uh, reason he punished Patterson because of his name. Patterson insists on calling him Cassius Clay, which uh, he known his, word, his name had been changed. Patterson just seems resigned to taking this beating. And Ali willing to oblige. 
A uh, couple of three guys got this thing about trying to get him steamed up, uh, calling him Cassius Clay. Well, Muhammad said, my name is Muhammad Ali. I've been given the name of Muhammad Ali. Uh, the least they should do is, you know, call me by the name I want to be called by. But uh, like today, this thing just came up where I'm uh, uh, reclassified at 1A. And I just can't understand how they could reclassify me as 1A when they were the ones who said, the government officials were the ones who said that I was 1Y and that I wasn't qualified. It was their decision. Now, all of a sudden, I'm 1A without any test, without notifying me or checking to see if I'm any wiser than I was the last time or any worse. Yeah, well, uh, that statement had a profound effect upon everybody. It said everything in one word. No Viet Cong. No Viet Cong, no Viet Cong ever called me uh, nigger, was uh, the uh, quote, which was precise, because uh, what he was saying was, uh, why are you going to fight? They have nothing against you. I mean, why you have, those who are calling you nigger are sending you to fight those who never called you nigger. That's exactly what it said. And he used to say it all the time, if I remember correctly, he said, this is a war where the white man sends the black man and the red man to fight the yellow man. Yeah, he, uh, he was fond of saying it all the time. So uh, his statement, no Viet Cong ever called me nigger, was just uh, precise. I was disturbed by the attitude of the print media. How dare they make judgments? How dare they? Man's entitled to his private beliefs. Heavyweight champion Cassius Clay goes through the final stages of training for the defense of his title against Ernie Terrell. Is that all right with you? I said, yes, it's all right with me if it's all right with Clay. He says, Mohammed. I says, all right, Mohammed, if that's what you mean. Hey. Well, he made, uh, he made mush of Ali. You know, in effect, he called him a religious phony, a draft dodger, everything, you know, he, he made much of it. Why don't you call me my name, man? <clears throat> well, what's your name? You told me your name was Cassius Clay. I you never told that. you my name was Cassius Clay. Oh, well. My name is Muhammad Ali, and you will announce it right there in the center of that ring after the fight if you don't do it now. For the benefit of this broadcast, him, all right? You uh, just acting just like an old Uncle Tom. Another fraud cop. I'm gonna punish let me, let me you. Let me tell you something, man. You ain't got no back off of me. Don't back call off me of no me. Uncle Tom. Man. That's what you are, an Uncle Tom. Why are you gonna call me Uncle Tom? What you gonna do? You heard me. me no back Tom. off of me. And so, ladies and Uncle gentlemen, Tom? as the two contestants prepare for battle right, right, right now, back off of me, man. Back off of me, man. Another interview has been recorded for posterity. As the two gentlemen continue. Uncle Tom. And I say this morning that it is my hope that every young man in this country who finds this war objectionable, objectionable and abominable and unjust would file as a conscientious objector. And no matter what you think of Mr. Muhammad Ali's religion, you certainly have to admire his courage. He said he'd stand up in front of a firing squad before he'd go and shoot those people. Uh, not no, I feel by Cash God, I feel by any America who, who don't want to fight for his country. I think it's very bad, especially guy who have made a lot of money in this country, you know, this guy who uh, I think uh, have respect for a lot of people, and I think that, I think that he, he should fight for his country. The draft boards is making a big thing of this. Uh, as much as I think everybody should pull their tour, I think they are uh, overemphasizing uh, the need to bring Cassius Clay into the service if he professes to be a Muslim minister. Well, I think that the, he's hurting, I think, the morale of a lot of young Negro soldiers over in Vietnam. And the tragedy to me is that Cassius has made millions of dollars off of the American public. 
and now he's not willing to show his appreciation to a country that is giving him, in my view, a fantastic opportunity, hurts a great number of people.